Hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I'm going to test out a brand new wireless microphone system uh, from Lensco. I already tested out, uh, it's one of those compact wireless systems, uh, microphone systems from them. Uh, this one is different in that it, uh, it's not a compact one, it's supposed to work at a longer range of up to 150 feet, uh, or meters actually, which is almost 500 feet. Uh, and uh, and it also has internal recordings, or rather I should say, it allows you to put an SD card here on the bottom, up to 32 gigabyte SD card, and the internal recording is uh, at a sampling rate of 16 bit and 48 kilohertz. As you can see, it's a standard size uh, transmitter pack, uh, it has a sort of flexible little antenna there, and also it has a lav mic, as you can see, that I plugged in, and this is actually the lav mic that comes with the kit, so you can kind of judge the quality of the, the lavalier microphone uh, because the whole video is recorded with me talking using the system. Uh, it does not have built-in batteries. You got to put in AA batteries, which will last you around five hours, uh, give and take. And um, yeah, otherwise it's a pretty straightforward, uh, solidly built. It is made out of plastic, but it does feel solid. Uh, it is, it's not too heavy, which is good. And I guess maybe the first thing I'll do is kind of test out the actual range, see if it actually does work all the way up to 150 meters or almost, I think I believe it's like 490 something uh, feet. All right, so here I am at around 50 feet from the camera. Uh, I'm going to put the, the tr transmitter here pack on my packet there. And anyways, this is how it sounds at around 50 feet. Uh, so I'm going to keep on walking further and we'll see how it works at even longer distance. All right, this is me walking backwards and I'm around a hundred feet. So walking backwards and now me facing the camera. Now, obviously the max uh, distance rating uh, is again, open line of sight, but this is at a hundred feet. So much, much lower than the max advertised range. So hopefully it still does work. Now, one thing to keep in mind actually is that this uh, wireless system does not use uh, Wi-Fi frequencies like the Rode Wireless Go 2 uses, for example, or the Lensco system that uh, I tested out previously from the same company uh, used, because this is not one of those compact systems. It actually uses a standard frequency. I believe it's somewhere in the range of 540 to 590 uh, megahertz. Uh, but anyways, you guys uh, can check that out by following the link to my website or just look in the description of this video for all the specs. Anyways, this is me talking at 100 feet from the camera. Well, let me go further. So now I'm facing away from the camera. So the transmitter is actually uh, going through my body. So hopefully we're still getting some signal. All right. So right now I'm 200 feet away from the camera. Uh, again, this is how I sound. Open line of sight. I should be hopefully getting a good audio signal. All right, I'm at 400 feet away from the camera. This is how it sounds. Again, open line of sight, so you should be hearing me properly. Now I'm at 400 feet away from the camera. Open line of sight. Uh, this is how it sounds. So, you know, again, open line of sight. Should be able to hear me well, but again, you guys can tell better since I'm not there at I'm going to now, and I'm back at 300 feet from now I'm back at 100 feet. This is me at 100 feet away from the camera. <sighs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> uh, so let me talk more about the system. So uh, again, this is a transmitter, uh, the receiver I have attached there on the camera, uh, but looks actually pretty much the same, has the same kind of build. You have here on the side is where you put the, the, the double A batteries in there. It takes two of them, like I said, the last five hours. Uh, and the, the cool thing, like I said, about the system maybe is that if, for example, like, like personally, I love using the Rode Wireless Go 2. Uh, it's, you know, it's a nice two person, very compact wireless microphone system. But sometimes, you know, I notice that, for example, if I'm at like, um, like a big event, for example, like CES or somewhere or like big conference halls or buildings where there's a ton of uh, Wi-Fi signals, then th even that system or, or some of the other sort of compact wireless microphone systems that use that frequency can give you some trouble. And that's simply because they use the exact same frequencies as Wi-Fi. Now, the good thing, obviously, about using Wi-Fi frequencies is that if you're in just a normal Wi-Fi setting, if you have one or two Wi-Fi networks, it's okay. There's still enough frequency bandwidth there 
for the systems to switch uh, and you're not going to have any issues uh, traveling around the world because Wi-Fi frequencies are basically open bandwidth you know, and you're allowed to use them uh, pretty much as far as I know anywhere on, on this planet. Uh, now, uh, sometimes, like I said, with some other frequencies, you have to be aware of the fact that in different parts of the world, certain frequencies are off limit. It's illegal to use them. But at the same time, if you're going to be in, uh, like I said, conference hall, CES, big events, or, or places where there's a ton of Wi-Fi networks, uh, then that's when uh, having a wireless microphone that uh, gives you the ability to basically use a different frequency than Wi-Fi is, is going to give you the you know a big advantage because you're less likely to run into trouble with having basically not enough bandwidth there. Um, now, in case you do lose the signal and you know for whatever reason and you're not doing this for life but for later on and like i said you have the micro sd card that you can put on the bottom here and you can record it uh, for example you can press the the power button just kind of tap it to mute or unmute this microphone uh, it shows you your battery life like things like that right it shows you your 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 audio levels and shows you whether you're recording to the, the micro sd card as far as the layout of kind of what you have up here uh, on the transmitter only you have the power button here on the top uh, and then you have your mic connection for your laugh microphone that I'm using right now. And then you have your line in. So it's actually cool because you could feed a line in or basically line from a mixer from somebody else into here and have that wirelessly transmitted. Uh, otherwise, you have your USB-C connection up here, your batteries up here, so you can power either way. Uh, you have an LCD screen, which it's a simple screen, but it shows you everything that you need to see. You can see whether you're linked up, what channel you're on, what's the audio levels, and whether you're recording up here and your battery level. Uh, you have a plus and minus and your set buttons, so you can sort of navigate through these, and that's identical up there. Uh, on the uh, on the receiver side and the receiver basically is the same way the only difference is it's got two uh, receiver antennas so there's no power button up here the set button acts as a power button uh, and otherwise you have your line out and then you have your monitor or headphone basically jack so you can monitor the audio coming straight into the receiver before it goes into your audio recording device or your uh, let's say your camera uh, and uh, yeah, otherwise it's pretty much the same thing. You have a little belt clip here on the bottom and then there's also an infrared uh, little box here on the side. The same here on the receiver. So it allows you to quickly sync up the two uh, in case you, for example, have different frequencies set. So it's pretty straightforward, but it works. You know, like I said, it's, a, it's a, again, one of those systems that just works. You plug this in, you know, the, the, the other, the transmitter, the receiver, I mean, to the camera. The transmitter here you mic it up put it away and it just kind of works and like i said in case it doesn't or you're losing signal you always have that backup recording in there and actually if you're wondering how that sounds right now uh you're listening to the actual recording or the internal recording which is 16-bit 48k uh that's done inside this uh, transmitter so this is how the actual inside recording sounds and now i'm gonna snap back to the internal camera recording which isn't the greatest actually because it's uh it's it's fake it's sony a6600 i'm recording this on uh, but anyways that's how that recording sounds so um you can kind of compare the two but anyways yeah it's a nice affordable wireless microphone system that is uh, you know just works basically it's simple it works uh, and it has a nice backup feature so if you're looking for something like that on a budget definitely check out LensGo uh, and their new wireless microphone system. If you're curious about the other wireless microphone system that I reviewed from them, then check in the description of this video. And also you'll find links there for where you can buy this, uh, as well as a link to my website. So if you haven't visited my website for other filmmaking, uh, film gear reviews, tutorials, and things like that, then definitely head on over. And while you're there, subscribe to my newsletter so you stay up to date with any future posts that I have. My name is Tom Antos, and once again, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.